Hello everybody, today we are testing patch 8 in Baldur's Gate 3, uh, the last patch that I know of that's happening um, from Larian for this game, and we're testing to see if performance on Mac has gotten any better, um, if they've addressed any of the performance issues, if we still need to use the Renes command change, and uh, long story short, they did not fix the game, unfortunately. Um, the, the game still runs awful um, in a lot of cases. Um, you'll see as we start playing for more than a minute, um, our frame graph's gonna get even more choppier with more micro stutters, um, kind of the same like we had in patch seven. Um, and they do not go away. Um, so we're going to apply the Renes fix that we did previously and see if that helps. As you can see, we're already getting into the 30 frames per second range. We are micro stuttering like crazy. Um, I can hardly turn around. Um, settings in game right now are just the default. So I haven't messed with the resolution. Um, we're at the, like the MacBook's native smaller display uh, we're at triple buff triple buffering no upscaler on taa um and then all on ultra um i'm not using upscaling right now because we still only have fsr1 there was no addition of metal effects or fsr2 or anything like that um, so we are still stuck with the crappy FSR one. So I, I will turn it on just for the sake of performance. Um, but it looks very, very blurry. It does not help performance in this state of the game right now when without the Renes change. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off real quick. Um, but as you can see with the frame graph, it is jumping up and down. All of those spikes are causing micro stutters. So we're gonna go in, do the Renes change. Alright, so it should be applied now, and what we'll see is that frame graph gets nice and smooth. There are no more stutters in the game. Um, the fans will start to kick up a lot, lot higher than they were previously, um, but the game is no longer stuttering. You can see uh, the frame graph looks much, much better than it did a couple seconds ago before the command was applied. Um, so the command, the Renes command still is a proper fix for the game. It really sucks that we still have to jump through hoops to be able to do things like this, um, or just to play the game normally. Um, this seems like a fix that Larian would be able to complete in a few minutes since it's one command change in our terminal. Um, but I'll mess with the settings a little bit here so you guys can kind of see just how much FPS we can get out of this game. So if we did want to use FSR, let's put it on balanced. Um, a lot of people might not be playing on ultra high presets, so let's try high first. So still pretty similar FPS. We're getting into the 70s, close to 80, into the 80s. Um, still stutter free. Um, and you can play with the Renes command in effect for hours. I haven't had the game crash with the command playing. Um, one thing I did notice that on my M4 Max Max Studio, um, I do not have to apply the Renes command change. Um, there's no difference. It runs great without it. So it, this is something to do with the MacBooks and possibly laptop cooling. And now you can start to hear the fans are really starting to pick up to um, to keep the frame rate ni nice and smooth without thermal throttling. So it is normal with this command that you will hear your fans pick up pretty aggressively. Um, We're setting the game to priority is what that command is doing. So let's try even more performance. Um, let's go medium with FSR on performance. So now we're in Act 3, um, we're getting up to the MacBook's refresh rate, 120 at times. 
Very, very, very blurry, though. I would not recommend using FS1 on performance. Um, it looks awful. So let's try... Let's do balanced. Still looks pretty blurry. And if you guys pump your actual resolution to a higher number, the game will look much better when you're using FSR. Um, but we'll try quality mode out. That looks a lot, lot better. And we're still getting in the 90s. FPS-wise in Act 3 with crowds on. Um, still no stuttering. Much, much more playable. Um, but they did not address performance on Mac, unfortunately. Um, this is a command that we'll have to get used to using if we want to play this game at a good frame rate. Um, which is a real shame. This game was doing very, very well its first first year on Mac, and this is just really sad to see. Um, I'll try one more setting. Just go to low, see what we get. So yeah, low, we're basically hitting our refresh rate of the MacBook, so. But if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. I'll leave everything I did in the description below. And I hope you guys enjoyed Patch 8. See ya.